Oh god, what's over here? What is this? Like some sort of army room of some sort? Because we've got lockers. Strength, respect, teamwork. Oh my god, it is, yeah. House rules. No playing outside without permission. No answering doors for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Wow, this house is full of all sorts of weird stuff. Race flag 7.30, breakfast 8am, quiet time 11pm. Wow, that's quite late. Dawn, sweep, trash, gas, mop, mow yard. Greg, be a baby. Routine, jump rope. Jumping jacks, push-ups, crunches. Okay, crutches or crunches? Crunches. Run to the mailbox and back. Jesus. Oh my god, they've got one of those wall climbing things. My mom things. moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Your mother lived in a loft. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Grief. Uh, okay, I know where she's from then. She's from India. Oh wow, look at that. So I guess she was helping charity. So I'm not entirely sure. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Is that building? I, th I, don't, I don't know what that building is. Is that like the Taj Mahal? I don't know. So what was that? Was that like a metal fan? I don't know. Whatever that was. Oh my god, she's got a fireman's pole as well. And the Holy Religion Bible. Was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Oh. That explains a lot. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> it's the curse. So oh, it's fucked. And that's fucked as well. Oh god, we're at the top when of the my house. Dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Oh, look, we've got I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Dawn, Lewis, Edith, and Milton. And to see kids in the house again. Mint, thyme, sage, and basil. Uh, I like what they did there where you got Lewis, and then he's like, you're going, who's Lewis? And then they just scatter some cannery around it going oh yeah I remember Lewis that's very clever the house had to get a little bigger but Edie was used to that I don't actually know how this house is still alive like it must have lost its support oh great now we're in a classroom things were good almost normal reading is a hoot great job fact or fiction but it didn't last Oh. We've got a nice laptop here, why can't we take that? Relief efforts end in disaster. Hundreds of relief volunteers are injured or dead after the effects of a second earthquake. Ooh, shit. So I don't know if that tidal wave um, back in the old house, not this one, the one that was in, under the sea, was caused by an earthquake. Which explains the tidal wave. Classification of living things. Grief, there's a lot of stuff here. Odin Finch. Myth, the curse, history. Oh, you can't read any of it. This is on the highest quality, so... I guess they couldn't, couldn't the put the stuff the in. The was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. A castle? Lucky sod. He's lucky to get a castle, but maybe not up here though. It's really dangerous. Grief. Oh my god, these children are spoiled. Oh, we've got a, a door. Also, this music is hitting me like a brick. Why? What's happened? Oh, I tried not to cry. 
very emotional. Oh. Oh, God. I'm okay. I'm okay. Right. Let's go for Milton's story. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, fuck. Uh, why can't I... Oh my god. He went through the door. Can we not go through the door. I was four when Milton disappeared. Hmm. But it says he died though, but you can't really put that in there until you find if he actually has. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. I guess she was afraid if they went through those doors again, but but this isn't a real door. Weird. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Well, Mom didn't want anything coming out, to be honest, including the kids. I guess she was trying to stop the curse, but if it's a curse, you can't really do anything about it. Mom it's gonna happen. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Why? What's happened to Lewis? After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh. Okay, fair enough. It's a nice view though. Definitely nice to live up here, except maybe on a safe place. So what's in here? Oh my god, these controls are annoying. Because it's 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 a bit weird, because you're trying to lift it up, but it's telling you to lift down. I think that could be worked on a little bit more. Unless you can use the keyboard, then if so that would be easier. Oh hello, what is that? Is that a bog? Oh Lewis's my god, it's a room bog. Smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Wow. Marijuana. Cannabis. So he's a sort of chill hippie sort of kind of guy. That likes to take He was so proud of being Indian. Drugs. I think for him it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Well that also explains why the door's the exit there. What's that say? Series quality. What's that say? Cigars, there we go. Also, what is that? That's not drugs. That's like a broken piece of lettuce. I like what they did there. It's like, yeah, just chuck some lettuce in there, that'd be fine. I guess they couldn't do that because of reasons, but I don't know. Wonderland Lewis Turbo. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Well, I know a lot of people that are bad at games, me included, and they just have fun just for the fun of it. That's kind of the thing about games, you're supposed to have fun, not raging for competitions. But then some games are. Guilty. Also, he's got a yoga ball. My god. Amazing. Also, a lot of DVDs. The Red King's Dream. And a computer. How on earth did he get a computer working up here? You're in the middle of nowhere. Ugh. Anyways. So let's hear about his story then. Uh, to Dawn Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. Oh. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. 
Newly sober, oh my god, what the fuck? Noticed the monotony of his daily life. Uh. Ah, yeah, fuck. What the fuck? At the camera, but he withdrew part of himself. Oh In my god. Sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to. Uh, what? Began to what? Wonder. Oh, got used to the keyboard. I asked him to describe it. Have I actually got to use the mouse and the keyboard? No. He said he started small. Hello. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Uh, it's a bit tricky to control moved. both. That's fine. Bats. Bats. And toads. And toads. Uh, is it is it a bit worrying? But it's the screen is becoming all faded. Also, I'm a bit stuck. Uh, uh pff, there we go. It's a bit tricky. And things that have not names. Oh. He knew it was all in his head. But it's getting bigger. Oh my god. But he took it very seriously. Uh, uh, there we go. I had hoped to find himself. There we go. Ooh. I hope I haven't got to keep doing this for long, because I, I just love it, but I can't keep chopping fish while controlling but this. He found something more. What did he find? I worried about him then. Oh. Daydreaming at the cannery. Oh, God. That's why you don't take drugs, kids. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focus. Oh my god. Like a whole new Lewis. Oh. So I let him go on. Why? If he's daydreaming in a cannery, that bad woman. <sighs> I even encouraged him. Why? It seemed very promising at first. Stupid woman. He told me he'd made a new friend. Oh. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Seriously? Seriously? He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, I don't like this now. But I also can't see the fish. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. This is awesome. And he was always humming something. Also, yes, I am still controlling the mouse and the keyboard. He no longer spoke at the camera. Oh shit. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Oh, God for that. So and one get... day it struck him. So he didn't get chopped. At all the cheering crowds, yes. even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Nice. Well done. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Oh shit. That's probably his conscience kicking in. It became a game for him. Uh, do I have to keep doing this? No, I have to, because the fish will just keep going. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Oh. 
New Lewis home. Seriously, his names are awful. St. Louis. That's better. He started drifting away from our reality. Oh my god, this is, the steering is... Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh shit. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh shit. Yeah, but if you're pleading with your mother to stop, turn the machine off. <sighs> if you're finished with the work, you turn it off. In Lewisburg, he heard rumours of a... Fuck off and go for a male. Not female. Beautiful prince. Yes, uh, not that face though, Jesus. of rainbows. The prince was on his own quest for radiant rainbows. Fuck it. Radiant rainbows. Yes. Oh, oh fuck. I'm gonna miss that one. Oh sorry. There we go. He followed the sound of his uh Harp. I like a harp. Silver harp. I like a nice harp. It's like a nice harmonic sort of tune. Oh, f I missed a note. Fuck it. I'm still can draw it in the mouse His and chopping the fish. His led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh my god, I'm still chopping. Oh my god, I can't actually see. Uh, I'm just going to use my senses. The world was all in his imagination. There's too much fish. I'm literally just using my senses to know where the chopping thing is. But sorry, it's a bit finicky. Having created it. Yes. Ugh. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Uh, uh, really? What's that? What's greater than a king? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Like a god or something, or emperor. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Oh no. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Shit. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, uh, pff, fine, go through the little door. Ooh. Oh, thank God, we're no longer chopping fish. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> he began to forget the world we know. Oh, shit. So this doesn't become any... This doesn't become fake anymore. Comes real. Oh God, is this where he works? It's disgusting. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. This place could do with some lights. Oh God, I, I feel a bit nauseous. To be honest, very nauseous, in fact. But then surely if you despise the man with a royal contempt. What's he actually doing? Uh you're not actually chopping fish. But I guess to him he is chopping fish. Shit. Oh god, I, mean, I still thought Oh I my could god, we're going him. on the conveyor belt. I can't move. Oh god, no. This is so Even bad. He said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh God! Oh! The palace would be packed with his companions. This is amazing, though. Da -da 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 -da. 
including the wise Calico, who insisted on advising. Calico? Where? Where? Where's the cat? Oh, there she is. Molly! Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Can we, can we look at Molly a bit more? Sorry, everyone. Just, just cancel the party. Uh, Yeah, look. Oh god, what's happening? I like this. This is really well done. His prince waiting, holding his crown. Oh god, his prince. Could have been a queen, but no. So basic. There was only one thing left to do. What? What? What's gonna happen? Bend down his head. Uh. Oh shit. Oh my God, no. Jesus. Poor guy. I'm sorry, Lewis. And the rest, I think you know. Oh. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Well, that was dark. Well, don't take drugs while you're at work. In fact, don't take drugs at all. Because that shit can happen. Especially out of all the jobs in a cannery. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I can do that job in the cannery. I just, I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. There was a similar job that I uh, was that was close enough to like a knife or some sort. It was working in. It wasn't really working. It was like a work experience in Siemens for like a week or so, and there was a special machine. It had a guard on it, so thank God. But it still terrified the life out of me because I was quite young at the time with the work experience and we just supposed to just simply chop some wires but the machine was just you don't press a button and you do it it was just a you put it in and it would just immediately go Vroom! and then you, you just shit yourself you really would it's terrifying i wish we'd stayed well, who's this one but i understand why we left who's this, this room what happened that night had been coming for a long time. Oh. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh, this is my room. Why did I die? No, it's not like I have. But it had to end one way or another. Oh, she probably did. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh god, she did. What happened to you? I'm trying not to cry for my life. Uh, there we go. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go over? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I can tell why she doesn't want to leave. Because if you've been here for a long time, then your mem you want to keep the memories here. Especially if you're really that, that kind of age. But Edie always had plenty of candles. Yeah, so when my she... mom sealed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh. Or that Edie had a key to it. Hello. What's in the library? Oh, books, obviously. But it's got to be something. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. 
No, she's right, it won't. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Oh, God. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Oh, that's horrible. History of the Finches by Easy Finch. Oh, God's sake, not this again. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night. The tide went way, way out. Oh. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Jesus. But I never thought I'd go back to it. Can we have a look at the house? When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh shit. Uh, I can't see a thing. I got turned around. Oh. Hello? I can't see. I started seeing things. Oh, the deer. Follow the deer. I still can't see. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Oh, this is all the stuff that was submerged. Or maybe I came back to them. Explains why she doesn't want to leave. Does explain. Makes complete sense. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, Can we have a... what are you oh. doing in here? Oh, it's shit. Fine. Edith! Oh my god, no, 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 no. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Shit. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. No! Oh, the this is morning, horrible. The came to pick her up, but she was already gone. I'm trying not to cry, but my life. We both tried to make the best of it. Don't actually try and stick your arm out because you could probably catch your arm on a, a pole, which is not pretty. A few years went by. Unless you got it against the window, then that's fine. But if you've got it sticking out completely, then don't. Oh my god, it's one of these uh, dandelions. <laughs> 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 But she started getting sick a lot. Oh, God. The rest happened pretty quickly. Oh, no. I'm trying not to cry. No. This is so she sad. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Oh, God. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. The what? Oh, the child, of course. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. 
who wants to live forever. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Uh, are we in a, I don't want to be in a womb, thank you. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Oh. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. Oh, so I guess you died as well. Shit. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's oh, a lot no. to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Poor Edith. And all the finches. So that's us now. That's the last finch. And the house is still there as well. Oh, God. Story by Giant Sparrow. A very good story. For Shirley Dallas. I don't know who you were, but you were amazing. Oh, God. Oh, look! Here's all the developers are when they were younger. Wow. Technical director. The technical artist. That's very clever that is. Eh, look at that one. Chris Bell. That's very well done this is. I I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm trying to speak while crying at the same time. So I will just end it off here immediately to be honest. So I can sort my tears out in grief. Um, if, thank you guys for watching. This has been What Remains of Edith Finch. My god, what a story. It has been dark. It was also a little bit funny. But at the same time, it was also scary. And I liked how they did that. They did really well with the stories. It's mixed really well. It's hit you straight into the heart. That's for sure, because I'm crying right now. I'm trying not to speak. I'm trying to speak. Grief. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, please hit the, that subscribe button below. Uh, and remember to click the bell notification if you'd like to see more of the latest uploads that I put up. And if you want me to try any games out, please do put your games down in the comments section below and I will have a look. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.